Hey everybody, uh, Merry Christmas and welcome back. I wanted to do a very quick video here, another home automation quickie, um, on a node that was shown to me on one of the other open source home automation channels on YouTube called uh, The Hookup. If you're not already a uh, subscriber of The Hookup, I implore you to go over there and check out uh, the work they do. It's a very good channel, very interesting, and uh, a lot of DIY home automation kind of like you see here. Um, the node in question uh, is called the light scheduler. It's this pink guy right here in my palette. Uh, in order to download the light scheduler, you uh, go to manage palette as usual and just type light dash sched and it will come up there and then you can install it in the normal way. Um, I'll walk you through the light schedule really quick. I'm going to drag it onto the pane. Uh, we can see here that it's missing some necessary configuration and that is the globals. Uh, we're going to come back to that in a bit. I want you to, to first kind of walk you through what the light scheduler does and how it works. As you can see here, um, it looks a little different uh, than a lot of the other nodes that we have, and that's because light scheduler is kind of what it says it is. It, it's, it's called light scheduler. Basically, it's an on switch and off switch that works by graphically setting up, uh, getting, setting up a week of events. So, for instance, let's say I want an automation or something to switch on at 7 a.m. when I leave for work and switch off at 5.30 when I return home. And I want it to do that every single day of the week. And it's really nice because uh, it's, it's, it gives you a graphical representation of the time bands in which the automation will be running and not just you know um, a text-based representation so uh, I've got something that switches on every day of the week at 7 a.m. and switches off at 5 30 and on the weekends let's say we sleep in a little bit and it switches on at 9 30 switches off at 5 30 or 9 o'clock and 5 30 and basically what this node does is at the beginning of your block that you've mapped out here, and you can do multiple blocks per day too, it's going to send a message uh, for the on payload for when this period starts, and it's going to send a message on the off payload when this period ends. And here we've got some default values of on or off, but we can send any number of you know data types here. And we can also change the output uh, occurrence. Oh. Oh, my microphone. We can also change the output occurrence um, so that it does this minutely while, while the output is on. So it will just pulse and on, 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 on. Or we can do it on state changes or state changes plus startup. So the dusk till dawn and golden hour uh, things here are a little more directed towards light. And, and don't get me wrong, lighting is a great way to, uh, to use this. But obviously it can be used for more than just lighting. So um, the way it gets these values is back up here when I was talking to you with the globals. When you first get this plugin, you're going to want to set a latitude and longitude for your house or for where uh, wherever you want this automation to run. And what that'll do is that'll use internet data to figure out if the sun is setting, if the sun is up, if it's dark light, yada, yada, yada. And it will have an influence over those bottom two uh, panes here. So this one, I'm just going to stick to the schedule only, and I'm going to put in my default that I've already put in earlier, and I'm going to say yes to this. And basically, this, like I said, is going to send an on message and an off message um, for uh, a certain automation. So I want to provide you with a little more of a concrete example of how this node can be used. So I'll delete this one that I just made, and I'll bring out a new one. And uh, I'm going to pretend um, for a second, just for the sake of this example, that my two-year-old daughter is an internet fiend and um, we want to make sure that she's going to bed on time and not spending all night on her computer uh, chatting with her friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a special automation that is going to control um, a smart switch that is attached to the switcher router that provides her computer with internet access. And so we'll set this up so that at 5 p.m. after dinner every night uh, till 9 p.m. That that, that that router or that switch is turned on so that she can use it. 
and then on the weekends we'll be a little more lax about it and allow allow the router allow the router to be on for the day instead so like I said this is an imaginary schedule that I plan on hooking up to a, uh, a smart switch that'll control a switch or router that provides my daughter's computer with internet access so I'll say done to that and this is going to be pumping out a message that says on or off on each state change so I'll run that into a switch node that is equal to on add equal to off done to that and then we'll grab a home assistant node that'll call the service of switching these nodes on or off so we'll say Switch, turn off, and at the end of the ID will be this is just a uh, you know, made up and the idea that I don't actually have something set up for this right now but this is just with the example and we will say okay so that's actually the turn on node right you can see here yeah that's for on and this one here will be switch turn off and the end of the idea will be Abby's order switch and just as easy as that it's a it's a very like i said it's a very um easy node to use and it's but it's very very powerful in that you can use this for a lot more than light scheduling this is a very simple example but i'm sure you can extrapolate it to your own needs anyway uh like i said merry christmas to everybody who's tuning in tonight and um i hope you find this as useful as i have uh, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to it because I'm going to be using it very shortly in a more complex setting and uh, I wanted to make sure that everyone was aware that this is out there. Again, uh, big, big thanks to the channel The Hookup. Give them a subscribe, give them a like. Um, I actually found this note on that channel and uh, can't wait to share it with everyone else. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later.